welcome back to part two of the monster meat lovers meatloaf on the barbecue. Here we are with our cast iron skillet. Uh, as you saw in the uh, part one of this video, uh, we have in the skillet some bacon, some sausage, mild Italian, along with some uh, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and red peppers. And we're we'll cooking them for 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, you just want to partially cook them uh, because they'll be cooking the rest of the time on the meatloaf. And here we've added the pan, the meatloaf uh, pan we made in the kitchen. And uh, the meatloaf has four pounds of ground meat, uh, two pounds of ground beef, one pound of ground pork, and one pound of ground turkey. And then we uh, put a layer of uh, our favorite barbecue sauces, and then added some shredded mixed Italian uh, cheese, which uh, is mostly uh, mozzarella. But you can put any kind of cheese that you like, whether it be uh, mild cheddar or uh, mozzarella or a combination of the two. And we are now taking everything out of the pan and putting it on top of our meatloaf. Uh, you'll notice that the, uh, we did put a gap of space between the meatloaf and the edge of the cookie sheet. Uh, it's got about an inch all the way around. And the reason we do that is that uh, while it's cooking, uh, a lot of the fat's going to be draining away. And uh, we can easily get it from the edges of the pan with a turkey baster at a later time. And that's it. We're done with the uh, cast iron skillet. And uh, as far as the barbecue goes, I am now uh, have the heat only running on the right hand side of the grill and we have the meatloaf on the left. So we are cooking this with indirect heating. Uh, temperature wise you want something between 250 and 270 degrees. You want to keep that on the barbecue for oh probably 45 minutes to maybe an hour. Right now we're adding some pepperoni, uh, freshly sliced. Same kind of pepperoni that you'd use for pizzas. So would say this is the ultimate meat lovers pizza, yeah, but there's no dough. of meat and vegetables and cheese of course now that's it for the pepperoni now we're going to add a little bit of sliced tomato And now we're going to layer a little bit more of the uh, shredded cheese on top just to hold everything together while it's cooking and also afterwards. Many of you are probably thinking what a crazy thing to cook on a barbecue. A lot of people just use barbecues for cooking the burgers and dogs and steaks, but uh, barbecues can do so much more. I've been inspired by the uh, barbecue pit boys. I don't know if you've ever seen any of their videos, but they do a really good job of showing how to cook a lot of uh, uh, wonderful recipes on the barbecue. Great bunch of guys. And now we're going to add Pineapple, sliced pineapple comes eight slices in a can, which works out just perfect for one of these meatloaf. You can check out the uh, barbecue pit boys at uh, barbecueweb.com, or at the end of the video, you'll see a. Uh, in the credits, I do put their website as well. 
and a little bit of extra pepperoni that I had left, so I'll threw that in there as well. And a little bit more cheese on top, just to, like, like I say, hold it all together. If you have a smoker or a charcoal barbecue, uh, you will find that uh, you'll get a little better darker color to the top of this and here it is cooking away it's been cooking for probably about 25 minutes or so and I'm just turning it around get the even heat on both sides and now we can take our turkey baster and we can drain some of the extra fluid and the fat that it's dripping off. I just use the pineapple can, put that on the grill and siphon the fat and throw it right in there. Easy cleanup. And now I take out my temperature gauge. Uh, digital temperature gauge. We want to try to get a temperature of between 160 and 170 degrees is ideal. As you're cooking you want to keep the lid down. Uh, you want the barbecue to become an oven. edited this video so uh, it's actually gone by a little more than this and through the miracle of time uh, now we're looking at the finished product as you see I've got a hamburger bun off to the side there getting it nice and toasted and now our monster meatloaf is done drain off a little bit more of the fat. Time to dish this out. Now, because of the uh, shape of the pineapple slices, you can cut around them, and it comes up with a perfectly sized serving, which you can just throw on a bun like I'm doing here, or you can eat it by itself. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Now, that is Monster Burger right there. And it is very tasty, trust me. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that you'll uh, give this a shot and try it yourself uh, one day soon. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, maybe we'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye now.